Good afternoon. Welcome to the Morrisville University campus. I'm Rick Baker. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director and it is my privilege and we are very excited to introduce our new head men's lacrosse coach, Brendan Storier. Thank you, Coach. It's uh, very excited to be here and uh, can't wait to get started at Morrisville University. Brendan comes to us from Limestone College. They are the perennial power in Division II lacrosse. Just to give you some backup numbers, that program has won 89% of their regular season games, 98% of the conference games during Coach Storier's tenure in the last eight years at Limestone. And Coach, what, what are the key attributes to bring about that kind of success? Yeah, really just the people that uh, are involved in the program. You know, it's, obviously it starts with Coach Clark there, um, and, and he always said, you know, you win with good people. And uh, we've certainly been able to bring in, you know, quality recruits that are, are good individuals, and that's really kind of what got us going there. To give you an idea how good they've been in the last eight years, Limestone has made five trips to the national championship game and won three of those. Coach, what's it like with, with that kind of stuff? I mean, it, that's the pinnacle of what you're yeah. trying to do. I mean, how good does that feel? Though? Yeah, <laughs> well, my life would get mad at me, but uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a great experience and it, it's something that uh, I'll never forget and it's certainly something that I want to see happen here in the future and, uh, you know, with, with all the resources here and the people involved in uh, this athletic department and university, I think, I think it's certainly doable. You know, we, we knew through the hiring process what a great recruiter you are. And um, I, I'm sure that's paid off because twice in your career you've been named the National Coach of the Year, yes, sir. Assistant Coach of the Year. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a great honor. Yeah, I mean, thank you. What, what brings about that kind of an award? Yeah, really, the players, uh, first and foremost. You know, the guys that you bring in, you know, you spoke to the recruiting. And uh, as a coach, that's the lifeblood of a program is, is the people you bring in. and. Uh, you know, like like I said, you know, we were fortunate to bring in some really talented lacrosse players that are good people, and uh, you know, obviously working for Coach Clark, and then you know, under Coach Serino's tutelage at uh, Limestone College, and it, you know, it, it, it really helped us a lot. And then uh, you know, working with Coach Kennedy, our other assistant there, um, is certainly you know what, what put us over the top. And, and Coach, you never like to brag on yourself. I've, I've known you enough to know that, but you're also a great player. <laughs> Uh, he was an All-American in both junior college and at Limestone. He was a conference player of the year his senior season. He played in the National uh, Lacrosse All-Star Game and has been inducted into the Junior College Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Obviously, with those kind of accolades, what has been that type of a player brought into your coaching style? Yeah, um, you know, I, I certainly had a, a good career. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of attribute uh, my coaching philosophy to that. I didn't have the career that I, I could have, you know, and uh, I, I think I could have done a lot differently off the field, on the field, working hard, and, you know, that's certainly something I try to bring to the, the guys that I coach is, uh, you know, don't leave any stone unturned, um, do as much as you can to be the, you know, the best player and certain person that you can be. What kind of a coaching style will fans see in the spring of 19 at Mars Hill? Yeah, I, I hope exciting, um, and I think, uh, I think it all comes down to, you know, the players that you have. And uh, I think, you know, after seeing Mars Hill play a few times this past year, that the talent is there. And uh, I, I certainly, you know, can't wait to get started with the guys coming in and the guys returning. I think uh, it should be an exciting year, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it, too. And a big part of the Mars Hill community is, is you're going to be bringing your wife, Holly, and yep. your daughter, Harper. Yes. Are they excited about the Yeah, move? Yeah, they are. Uh, my wife has worked in the area the last year and a half, and, uh, you know, my daughter's going to grow up in, uh, at, at Mars Hill University, and that, that's exciting for my family and I. And, uh, you know, we, we can't wait to get out here and go to football games and soccer games and basketball games and, you know, just kind of really uh, be a part of the community. Well, it's a great place to raise a family. I raised both of my kids here, and, and we've been here 25 years, and we love it, and I know you guys will love it because yep. the Mars Hill community just embraces yeah. people like you guys, and, and we're glad to have you. Um, in closing, Coach, what, what would you have to say to, to not only our fans, potential recruits out there, but our returning players? What have, what have you got to close with Yeah, Mark? I'm just very excited to get started. I can't wait for the, the returning players to get back. I can't wait to get recruits on campus and you know see how beautiful this university is because it has a lot to offer and uh, it's a great area. And I, uh, I can't, can't wait to put my head down and, and get going on this. Well, I appreciate your time and yes, welcome aboard. Yeah, thank you very much.